and show you the eggs. Good morning, guys. Andrew just brought in eggs. <laughs> it's Janice from Ozark Family Homestead, and today is Eclipse Day. So my plan is to just kind of take you along here with the camera and show you what happens here on our farm on Eclipse Day. We do have out-of-state family in town, and uh, they're going to be coming here to view the eclipse with us. So um, we're starting off this morning just kind of like usual. I've got to fix, where's Abigail at? Got to fix Abigail's hair still. Got to fix my own hair still. I've just got my big long braid. And uh, animal chores are being done outside. And then we're going to get going on breakfast and hanging laundry. Normal stuff still has to happen today. Just because it's Eclipse Day doesn't mean we can, you know, let all the other things slide. So, <clears throat> sorry, I haven't got my voice in yet. I haven't had my first cup of coffee yet either. So, um, I will just turn the camera around and film here and there, and we'll see what we end up with at the end of the day. Hopefully it all goes well. Here we go. Okay, I'm going to say we start off with getting your hair fixed mm -hmm. and your hair fixed <laughs> and getting laundry going in the wash machine. Okay, here we go. Okay, go show them your pretty hair. Say, I'm a pretty little farm girl. Finish your morning jobs, baby, and then you can have a baby apple. Okay. Do the trash cans. Okay. Here, go ahead and hold this. All right, laundry's running. Girl's hair is done. Now we're going to get going on breakfast. Um, Sarah's going to get a big old package from Sam's Club of the turkey bacon going in the oven so that will be cooking. I am going to get some hash browns going here. Um, we're going to get those. They have to soak for a while before they're actually cooked up so I'm going to get the soaking process going and then we're going to cook up some fried eggs and everybody can pick whether they want turkey, duck, or chicken eggs this morning. All right Sarah's washing up the eggs. I'm getting them going in the skillet frying them up. Sam is unloading the dishwasher. Rebecca's being cute. Anna is sweeping up after morning chores and stuff last night, or this morning. Abigail's vacuuming. No, you can vacuum, baby. <laughs> and are Andrew and David outside? I think so. Okay, and they're still outside. So that's where we stand right now. Um, I am gonna go ahead and get um, some potatoes going for lunchtime because once family gets here, you know, things we'll, we'll want to visit instead of actually working in the kitchen so much. So I'm trying to get as much done now this morning and I'm going to have to hang up laundry soon. You can have some of that in just a little bit, okay? All right, I'll check back in a little bit, guys. <laughs> Rebecca says she wants to hold a cheeky. No, 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 you can't hold it. Just pet gentle, it. Gently. Gentle, gentle. There we go. Are they sweet yeah. babies? These are ones that a mama hen outside hatched out. And so we left her with three to raise because she wants no, to be a mama really it. bad. And then we took these others in the brooder. So, okay. Um, as far as breakfast goes here, so the eggs I'm using up over here were ones that children found. They found a nest outside of eggs, and there were some duck eggs in it and a whole bunch of chicken eggs in it, like more than two dozen. So we're going through one by one, um, washing them up and breaking them in a bowl just to see are they okay. We don't know how old this nest was. I've only had one so far that kind of fell apart whenever I cracked it, but everything else has been good. This is the chicken bucket. We feed all this back to the chickens. We crush the eggshells down and feed this back to the chickens. So this is what I'm working on. Um, hash browns are started in the skillet. They just now got cooking and the turkey bacon is sitting in the oven, just kind of staying warm. Oop, camera fogged up. Staying warm until everything else is ready. Okay, so 
one load of laundry is hung up a breakfast is still cooking the noise in the background andrew is washing up russet potatoes to go in the instant pot for lunchtime and i'm going to go ahead i need to snip off some more of these sweet potato plants and this is what we'll end up planting in the garden these are ones they're growing out roots so we can plant them in the garden but these are getting so tall that i need to go ahead and snip them off and put them in the water too and then they'll grow roots as well so i'm going to work on this while breakfast is in process and then we don't have to worry about that uh, for the rest of the day. All right, food is ready. Plates are being made up. This is the first batch of hash browns. The, um, there were too many to fit in one pan. So the second batch of hash browns is cooking. I have set aside some of the turkey bacon to go with lunch on those loaded potatoes. So this is not going to be eaten, but we've still got two dishes of the bacon that can be eaten this morning and the eggs have just been kept warm in the um, oven for now so these are chicken eggs and now there's some duck eggs getting cooked up over here too so still in process but we are far enough along in the process that um, people can go ahead and start eating Okay guys, breakfast is over with, family is here, so we're getting busy around here. Lunch is already done in the Instant Pot. The potatoes are cooked and just gonna sit here ready. Um, there's cleanup going on. I've got the second load of laundry hung up and a third load going in the um, washing machine. I still have not fixed my hair. <laughs> so I do need to do that. And I still want to make one of those little um, eclipse glasses in the paper plate for Rebecca to be able to use. Um, we've got a couple hours still before we need to be outside to start watching everything. Family that came in said the gas stations were packed, there were lines, so we're not getting out. The, our family is hunkering down at home and we're just going to get news of the outside world from online, which is super crazy slow. Our internet is really, really slow. Um, we've had a video that I wanted to get up for you guys uh, today. I wanted to post it today. It has now been loading for... Since at least 6 p.m. yesterday. Oh yeah, it's been, it's been well over 17 hours that it's been uploading and it's not ready yet. So internet's crazy slow and we're guessing that's because of the extra people that are here. Sean's getting more coffee. Yeah. We're just gonna keep the coffee pot going and we've made up sweet tea, lemonade, and there's water. And uh, we're just gonna eat pretty easy meals today and focus on visiting and observing. So, cause this is a school thing for us too, but I'm gonna get back to work and I'll just, I'll check in here and there with you guys. All right, I've got the last load of laundry about to go out. That's the third load. Sarah is making some beautiful apple pies and with the homemade crust and everything. So looking forward to those. Those will probably be to go with supper tonight, I think. Maybe, maybe lunch. We don't know. I did get, where are they at? Rebecca's Eclipse glasses. I did this for all the kids back in 2017, you know, when they were all much, much younger. And, uh, but now I've got older ones this time around and they don't need the uh, special little protection of the paper plate there, so. Okay, and they're out there still setting up the telescope and the big amazing system that we're gonna use to watch the eclipse as well. And uh, the countdown is on. I see things online where town has people from India and Switzerland and Iceland. Um, China, South Africa, Netherlands, Canada. Korea was in there. And of course all the states, you know, around us too. So it's been uh, kind of neat. <laughs> I'll be back when I have something new to show you guys. So I'm back out here with the livestock and the eclipse is beginning. If you're using your eclipse glasses, we can start to see uh, the 
you know, when you're looking up at the sun, you can kind of see it on the bottom right hand corner coming in. One of the things that we're really interested in is what are the livestock going to do? Everyone says that livestock will make all kinds of noises and act strange. So we're going to be paying attention to what the livestock doing as this eclipse uh, becomes a complete eclipse, a total eclipse. Very exciting here on the homestead. Okay guys, I'm outside. The partial eclipse has just started and it's the lower, like the west side, the side of the sun to the west and the lower portion, the lower right side is what is getting covered because I can look through it with my eclipse glasses. Sarah's setting up a station here. I've got Andrew's trying to look. Sarah's going to keep track of the temperature change as things get going. And uh, got, is this your is that your nature journal or just uh, your this journal? This is my diary because my nature journal is full. Nature journal's full. Okay. What do you think? Okay. <laughs> it's at the top. At the little. Do you see the little spot turning black, baby? <laughs> it's pretty neat, huh? That's so cool. <laughs> Can I see it more? I'm gonna look again. <laughs> what are you saying? Uh, about maybe we're sixth covered. Oh, is it? Yeah. Okay. What does your temperature and stuff show? Hey, you dropped, you dropped one degree. We've dropped a degree? Yep. Yeah. That's cool. <laughs> David's cool too. Yeah. So my cousin has brought his uh, very fancy telescope up here and got everybody on the deck looking up at the sun right now as this eclipse is forming. I film Sean filming. <laughs> Oh goodness. Now she's looking. Look at you. What do you see? The sun. Oh, get it over your eyes. There you go. <laughs> Pretty neat, huh? Has it gotten bigger? Yep. All the time it gets bigger and bigger. Every second? Yep. Oh, I did that. Wow, it's big. <laughs> You've got your glasses though, right, Anna? Yeah. I see you there with your cool kitty cat sunglasses. <laughs> you like it? Yeah. Oh, you like my plate glasses? And I love those kitty cat glasses. Those are nice. <laughs> and also, every second it's getting darker. She, she fought using that those plate glasses at first. Baby, let me see you. Rebecca, let me see you with their glasses on. <laughs> yes, your plate glasses. And how about Anna's kitty cat glasses? I can mine. Can I see that, Rebecca? <laughs> let me see. No. Let me see that girl. Oh my gosh, it's you, trying to you scratch me. You are super cute. <laughs> how about the you? I can hear Starboy purring from here. I want to go swing. Let's go swing. Oh, let's go on the trampoline. Yeah. I know we can see it better. I get two sets of glasses. Okay, as far as I can tell at this point, animals are acting fine. Nothing weird's going on. It looks normal pretty much outside the sky and the, the light the ducks are out so everything is pretty much normal at this point but they say that the temperature is going to drop like 20 degrees and the animals will make funny sounds and try to put themselves up for the night here's some of my sweet ducks they make me happy i like them so we'll go see what Sarah and David are doing over here. Okay, Sarah, I'm coming to check in with you. What are our temperature stats and stuff doing? 
Okay, so we, we are at 80 degrees still. Um, only dropped one degree since 1256, 1247, sorry. Um, you started 1247 is when you when started? started recording. Okay. Yes. Um, managed to get a few pictures by putting the eclipse glasses over the lens. You think they turned out? I can see them. Really? Yes, you, can, you can't really see a whole lot of the, but you can tell there is something over it. Okay. We're about one-fifth to one-fourth covered, closer to one-fourth right now. Uh, temperature staying stable, um, animals are acting normal, uh, good gentle breeze. So. Okay, yep, I was, I was noticing the animals too. So yeah. um, they do have the big monster telescope up over there too. I have to stay close to the house because the pies are going to be done in like five minutes. <laughs> okay, so. well after the pies come out then you'll have more freedom to, to roam around. I'm going to go grab me my glasses because uh, mine were taken by a small child. And there's a, we got, we got these you can put your camera Wait, oh, yeah. On. Really? Oh, yeah. You so, can go through the camera. That's wait, pretty cool. Seriously? Yeah. And you can put the camera no, I, I was going, I was putting mine uh, through my. Uh, Just recording all this neat equipment here that uh, works. Let's see here. Let's see if we can make this work. All right. Let's see if I put this over the camera. Other way. Other way. Like this right here. Yeah. And then just point it up. Uh huh. You got to find it. Yeah. There we go. Pretty neat. The animals are starting to make a little bit of noises. I do hear. Uh, seems like the chickens and uh, the sheep are starting to make a little bit of noise. I'm going to try one more time to put this filter uh, over the lens and see if uh, you can pick up this partial eclipse as it's um, where it's at right now. So right now. There we go. Again, from my perspective, I can see about half of it covered up. I'm just not sure what the camera is actually picking up. But the animals are noticing something's going on because they're starting to make noise. Yeah. So I've got sheep starting to get noisy. They know something's up. And one thing, the wind started kind of... Uh, changing a little bit so you can tell that something's going on but the animals are definitely picking up on something is happening well, everybody has just kind of forgotten about lunch we're a little distracted right now but lunch is ready in the house it's just sitting there in the instant pot and uh, pies are coming out of the oven right now but We'll see. I've got little girls swinging. Sean is trying to film too. Oh, did you put that over the camera? I'm not sure it's working yet. I have been trying to film and then put this over the camera and film. From my perspective, it looks like it's working, but we'll have to see if it actually works or not. Okay, good deal. But, wow, it's bright. It is bright. It is the sun. It is the sun. <laughs> Oh, the pecan trees are starting to bloom out, too. It's springtime. We've got, Sean's got the trailer set up so we could take a hayride later on today, but none of the animals seem to be putting themselves to bed. We want to see if the goats go in their shelters, like they're going to go to bed or what. Sheep, some are grazing and some are just resting so everybody's acting like normal pretty rooster strutting around there's the mama and her twins right there I can hear another big jet going over I don't see it. Got two birds up there above me fighting. Looks like a chicken hawk. Oh, but they're right up there where the sun is. Oh, I need them to move. A black one 
and then a larger, what looks like some sort of chicken hawk. And they've been fighting with one another. Okay. Animals are getting very noisy all of a sudden. The sheep, the chickens. I would say we're getting right at halfway. So I don't know. Just to see what the animals think about all this. Daisy's still in her shed. Got jets, two more jets over here. Just seems like a lot of air traffic today too. What baby? A hay ride later? Yeah, we can do that later after the eclipse is over with. Sean's filming too. <laughs> oh, you okay? Oh, he says, help, my foot is stuck. There you go. Oh, better. You gonna sit up on the hay bales? Do you want me to hold your plate? Or are you gonna keep it? Uh, yeah. You keep it, okay. I'm gonna sit right there with you. You can sit there and you can look at the eclipse through your plate. You gotta look this way. That way. Somebody <laughs> eating the sun. Something's eating the sun? Yeah. Is that crazy? Yeah. Oh my. She said, something's eating the sun. <laughs> okay. Uh, from my perspective, the shadows are starting to wheel. Okay. Okay. Yeah, Sean's checking out the shadows. I know in 2017, we had those little crescent yeah. shaped. Just the, the shadows, and I'm not sure if it'll record it right now, but I, you can just see that things don't look quite right on the ground. I remember in 2017, the coloring went very yellowed weird. Yeah. So, I don't know. We're, we're at, don't you think we're halfway? Oh, we're, uh, we're more than half at this point. I'd say we're a little more than half. Really? Okay. And see, more jets. Lots of aircraft. Yes, lots of air traffic through here today. Both, both single engine and jets. Yeah, I don't know if I can see. I don't know. I don't want to mess up the camera, and I can't tell what I'm looking at, so. Daisy's hanging out in the cow shed, though. That's yeah, she hasn't come out of the cow shed. Sheep are milling around. Oh, there's that white duck. Did you comment about Daisy being in the cow shed? Yeah, I oh. did. Now, Brisket is out, and I don't see, Spr oh, Spruce is over there. She's laying down out in the pasture. Mm -hmm. So, it, it's gone. <laughs> she was looking the wrong direction. <laughs> it's gone, it's gone. <laughs> I see the sun, yes. Somebody eat the sun. Something is eating the sun. <laughs> The monkeys are eating the sun. Oh, goodness. <laughs> Space monkeys. <laughs> That's crazy. <laughs> Sam's got a camera out, too. Sarah was checking the... Oh, she's going to go look out at the telescope now, too, I think. Wow. Yeah, about the way, Yeah, we're up here. I'm, I'm filming up here at the... Uh, his uh, cousin has these really neat telescopes and uh, you can really zoom in and see it from up here on the deck of the summer kitchen and you can hear all them animals back there throwing a fit yeah sarah just pointed out that everything's getting a weird color kind of a yellowish yep uh yellow, kind of a yellow purple which is weird because they're on the other side of the color spectrum 
yellow purple she said which is weird because it's the other side of the color spectrum david are you making notes yes yes mr scientist david look shadows are weird yeah okay i'm gonna write that down shadows are yeah, and they're going to get stranger, too. I remember 2017, we stood. We dropped another degree. Where are we at now? Oh, she said we're another degree lower. Oh, I've already got that one. So, they're logging times and temperatures, trying to keep up with that. And I stood right here in this spot in 2017, and we were not at totality then. And I looked here for the um, changes in the shadows from this tree, so... I'll try to remember to come to the same spot during totality and see what it looks like this time. Okay, so I've just come in the house to pick up more camera batteries because I don't want to run out of batteries just as stuff is, um, just as we're hitting totality. I can notice being in the house, it is darker inside the house. Yeah, can you notice a difference? Yeah. yeah, this time of day, the house should be bright with uh, the yeah. south facing windows. Yeah. So. Yep, definite difference. Okay. I'm gonna go see what it looks like. Okay. Here's those. Yeah, the coloring is the strangest thing right now. It's just a very strange, almost like, I don't know, it's weird. It's kind of like 3D glasses or something. It's the, the way things look, the the depth perception for me is weird. Yeah, it, it, it is, it's hard to explain, but it's like a, uh, almost like you're looking through things as a, through a colored lens, so it's everything's distorted. Okay, it reminds me of, you remember the old, the red, um, you put the little discs in with the little film and you click, click, mm -hmm. the viewfinders. Viewfinders. That's what it looks like, like it's a weird, like an overly done 3D yeah is what the color change is making everything kind of look like and we are at a good three quarters covered at this point you see the sun it's i see there's only a little bit of it left and another jet going over over there lots and lots of things in the air today Somebody's eating the sun. We, we, we followed the pig. What? We followed the pig. Hmm. Are you going to stop them? Say, stop eating the sun. Stop eating the sun. Okay. They say, okay. They're <laughs> still eating the sun. They're still eating the sun. The monkeys eat the sun. The monkeys are eating the sun. I don't know where these monkeys came from. <laughs> they get all the things. <laughs> Somebody eat the sun. <laughs> Mama, I want to win with my jacket. You can do that. Are you with me? Ooh, big girl. <laughs> okay. Okay, it's about three quarters covered now, so I am going to see again if we can can record this through this filter. Again, not sure if it's picking it up or not, but it should be a three quartered covered. Okay. Yep, the shadows are weird again. We are about, we're less than 10 minutes from totality at this point. So we've got these little crescent shaped shadows here on the tree. David's taking pictures. Sarah's taking pictures. It's only about five minutes until the total eclipse. Animals are getting restless. They're getting loud. Roosters are crowing. 
getting a lot darker. The uh, shadows are really strange to look at. It's very obvious something's going on. The animals, <laughs> the animals are starting to uh, get restless. Temperature is noticeably cooler to me. Yes, it has dropped 76. 76 degrees now. Yep, dropped five oh, degrees. Oh, there is just a little bitty crescent. Just a little banana shape up there now. So we're not quite at totality yet. It's weird going in the house and how dark it is for early afternoon in the house. Mm. Anna, what are you, are you drawing what you're seeing? And writing. She's drawing and writing things. Okay, we are three minutes away from the eclipse. The shadows are looking rather strange. It is getting noticeably cooler. Animals are getting louder. It's getting darker. And we're going to have a full eclipse in less than three minutes. Okay. We are getting right down here to the end. We are not in totality yet, but there is just a little bit of a sliver there. So the covering started on the southwest corner of the sun and has traveled you know, in a northeasterly covering it up. Oh, it's just right there. Oh, I wish, gosh. Where is it at? I can't see what I'm looking at, Sean. Here, 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 here. here okay. I can't see, do I have the sun? Oh, no, it's there. You, you'll find it. Right? It's there. Goodness. That's really cool. I hope that shows up in the video, guys. Just about at totality. It's very strange, guys. The coloring is very strange. There is just the tiniest sliver of the sun. I mean, it almost looks like a storm is coming in because it's so dark. It's very strange. Okay, we're about one minute away. Everyone's looking up. It's getting dark fast. And here we go, totality. You can start to see the stars. There we go. It's so dark. <gasps> the star. Yeah, I see a star. That's Jupiter. That's Jupiter. Let's see. Right in there. That's Jupiter. Here we go. Oh, guys. This is so wild. I have never experienced. Oh my goodness, I have never experienced anything this like this. <gasps> guys, look! Okay guys, don't hate me. <laughs> Please don't hate me, but that is where we are going to stop this part one of the video. Um, Sam and I have been in here editing this tonight, and it is well over an hour long. It was an amazing day in our lives. And we were excited to share all aspects of it with you. We still, obviously we still experience the uh, over four minutes totality of the eclipse. That will be in part two. We go on a family hayride. We have an awesome supper. There's lots of other things still that were part of the day in the life, but we just couldn't fit it all into one big massive video. Um, we're just gonna split it into two parts, but we do hope to have part two up very, very soon. So that is the plan. I hope you enjoyed this so far. It was an amazing experience. That's all I'm going to say. Um, I want you guys to see the video for yourself, but it was just, it was an amazing experience. And I'm so glad the children were able to see this as well. So if you like the video so far, please give us a thumbs up. 
make sure you are subscribed double check that youtube has not unsubscribed you for whatever reason and if you could tell others about our family's channel we sure would appreciate it just let them know about ozark family homestead so our family's channel can grow thank you so much guys and we will see you on the next video bye bye thanks for watching ozark family homestead bye